it's easier to hear the voice of God uh, when you're spending time in adoration every week. Um, it's one thing to kind of pray on your own and pray outside of church and things like that, which is really good and really helpful. But until you, I started spending those moments uh, in front of the Blessed Sacrament, I would say it was a lot less clear uh, on what God was trying to communicate. And so it's become a lot more definitive of, you know, this is what I'm asking you to do. This is kind of what I think you should do in this situation, things like that. So it's a lot easier, I think, to hear what God's trying to tell us, especially when we sit in the quiet and we slow down our pace of life. So for me, it's really been uh, a great opportunity to grow in that listening ear, uh, which is so hard with everything around us, the media and, and music and audiobooks and the TV and all these things. Um, adoration really is that time when my brain can kind of slow down, it's quiet, I don't have to think about anything else, and I can really be open to what the Lord has to say. And so I think as a high schooler, yeah, I probably, in adoration, I would pray and kind of just talk nonstop the whole time to God. Uh, and now I would say my prayer is a lot more uh, just receptive listening. Like I, I don't have to say a lot and that's okay. It's just like spending time with uh, the one who loves me, uh, spending time with, with a good friend that we might not say anything. We might just stare at each other basically. Uh, but that's really what the beauty is that we don't have to fill that time with words.